Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my wardrobe. If you've watched my wardrobe switchover videos in the past, then you are familiar with where I keep my clothes. For those of you who aren't, and maybe this is the first one that you watch, then this is my wardrobe, welcome. It's a three door wardrobe. We've got the rail on this side and then the other section is a shelving. I keep all of my clothes in here, so I don't have a chest of drawers or anything like that. Literally everything is in this wardrobe. And in my previous wardrobe switchover video, somebody actually commented saying that this wardrobe is like magic and I squeeze so much in here. And it's so true. Like I really had to just try and make the most of the space and fit in as much as possible. Although I'm also not shopping as much as I used to either. And like that's a huge thing that I've really, really been trying to focus on this year in particular and just like in future as well. I don't want to shop as much as I used to. So yeah, having this as like, my limits kind of helps that as well because I know that once this is full like nothing else fits inside basically but today's task is to remove my spring and summer pieces I actually already started I've already filmed this intro but for some reason my camera just didn't record so I've restarted but I have already oh, removed loads of my like spring summer dresses and that is the task for today essentially to remove a lot of these spring summer dresses because I really do have a lot of them a lot of my dresses are going out into storage to make room for some other bits but so far these are the dresses that i'm keeping from like my autumnal wardrobe so a lot of jumper dresses which i absolutely love but what a crazy difference like my spring summer dresses are floral prints patterns color and then when it comes to like my autumnal one it's just so many basics but honestly that's what i love to wear and style so i just think that's like the direction that my style is moving in which I know some people will say is like quite boring but honestly I think it's more like classic and timeless and it just means it's easier to wear and style so much more which I really appreciate and I really want to be able to make the most out of the items in my wardrobe so yeah this is what I'm working on at the moment I have kept mostly like long sleeved ones this one though is another floral dress that I have gosh it's a bit stuck that I have been thinking about and I do think that this one may be going for charity because I just don't wear it that much and like compared to the other items that I have here it really does stick out as not being like quite to my taste so yeah but everything else I mean oh my gosh this Marge dress you guys have seen this dress so much because I always style it but this is coming soon in a styling video as well just one of my absolute favorites for like party season I've also got uh this leopard print one which i adore one of my favorite ones keeping that as well i also kept this one which i would say is more spring summer but because it's black and it's like quite classic it's a great transitional one as well so i am going to keep this in my wardrobe for now then i have a few other like darker colored dresses that are still like short sleeves because i think i can still get wear out of those and then i actually have these two which are i mean quite summery looking but they're like a ribbed knit, so I feel like more of a fabric that is better for like autumn and winter. So I'm going to keep these out as well. I have this jumpsuit, which I thought I would wear this summer, and I'm surprised that I actually didn't. I think I'm going to leave it out though, because I think I can potentially like layer this for winter. So I'll keep that out. These are a few more that are definitely summery that I'm not going to be wearing throughout autumn and winter. So these can go another jumpsuit as well which is more of a summery color and a summery fit honestly i just have so many spring and summer dresses that it's a bit ridiculous like these three this trio great but more summery vibes so i've done a fair bit of rearranging my jumper dresses are all together um, and then some slightly like shorter sleeved options, which I know I'm not going to get that much wear out of, but they are good to have for like slightly warmer days and they're just a little bit different. Um, these are <laughs> quite a lot of like um, sleeveless dresses, but these I would associate with like party season maybe. I've got some like mini dresses here as well, which I feel like can stay out. Maybe the white one, but no, I'll just keep it out. I've got this faux leather one, which I'm keeping out. This I'll also keep out. Um, this like, de can you even see? Oh my gosh, this denim one, I was tempted to put away, but I actually think it's okay. Like denim, I feel like it's perfect for all year. This red one, I was also going to put away, but 
kind of decided to keep it out i don't know why again it could be a nice like transitional one maybe i tried to like put organize it in like sleeve length first it goes into like dress length so these are all my longer dresses on this side and then here everything gets shorter but then i try to arrange it by sleeve so that is all that side done i'm going to have so much space in this wardrobe now it's crazy uh okay so these are two pleated skirts love pleated skirts at the moment they're staying these are my printed slip skirts and these are like my single colored slip skirts again staying i've also got my trouser hangers in here these are so good i got them on amazon and they fit four pairs of trousers in here and where they're like this sort of crisscross design they don't slip off which is fantastic so here i have my like single colors one mostly zara high-waisted trousers you guys know how much i love those and then on this other one is mostly faux leather and then at the top i have a pair of brown if i have any more trousers that i've like kept in my storage basket i am gonna have to add another one i do have another this one does come in a pack of three so i do have a spare one which may need to come out but we'll see then on this side, a lot of like shirts and things, which I mean, I don't know, they kind of stay here like all year round and like they just kind of live here. So this is a beautiful silk navy blue shirt, which I'm definitely, it's not really a shirt, it's more like a blouse, but definitely keeping that. This is my leopard print one, also going to keep, this is my pink one, which was perfect for like summer, but I don't really know if I'm going to wear it in the autumn. So I think... I'm pretty sure I'm going to put this one away because I cannot see myself wearing like a bright pink shirt. Or can I? Oh, I don't know. This is just a classic white one. I have a lot of white shirts, like a lot, a lot of white shirts. And I'm just not sure. Oh gosh, this one's twisted. I'm just not sure if I need to keep them all. But they are all different. That's the thing. But still, like, I do kind of feel like it's excessive. Like, this is all white shirts. Back onto the pink one. I do think I will keep this one. I feel like it's a pop of colour different to the other ones i have so why not and then white shirts this is my new look one it's a like what do you call this it's basically like sheer so i think i'll keep that one it could be quite nice for party season this one's beautiful like it's embroidered with like beautiful lace detail it's an oldie from river island but again i do want to keep that it's more of a spring one i would say but it's still very nice this one is so creased but this is my new look cotton one it's the one that i've been wearing the most recently so 100 percent that one is staying because it's a classic then i have this one from h and m it's a bit like tangled um and it's just got these like oh it's actually inside out <laughs> it's got these like beautiful button detailing and it's just really pretty whenever i wear this one i always get a lot of lovely comments about it like oh it's such a beautiful shirt like can i get it but it's a few years old so i know that is annoying but it is very pretty and it's just like different so i think i'm going to i think i will keep this one purely for that reason like it's just a bit different to the rest i'm gonna say that about all of these shirts aren't i okay maybe this one can go this one's new look um it's got like a more of like an unusual v-neck style collar and i guess i just don't need this one considering how many others i have and then i have this one from saint and sophia it's got beautiful like gold buttons and it's also very nice but i just think that i wear my classic white one more than i wear this one so this one can probably go as well i'm still left with four white shirts but i kind of feel like they're all different enough so we'll go with it and then on this side is a little bit random well first up actually very excited about this this is a gorgeous little uh, cardigan slash coat so that's perfect for autumn i have a load of like cami style tops here which i just keep because to be honest with you like they sometimes come in handy i've got white pink black and then this cute beautiful gold one i feel like i had a dream about how to style this gold one the other day for like party season so keep your eyes peeled because i've been literally dreaming about that look so keeping all of those this is quite cute this is a one shoulder kind of shirt style i suppose it's oldie from zara but i um have thought of like ways to style this as well and i think it's a bit more unusual so i will keep that one too and then i just have like a basic black top it's a crop top and it's got a bit of an open back but i wear this one a lot for like filming and things i usually film wearing black um and the reason i usually wear black when i film is because I find that my camera and my lighting goes a bit crazy if I'm wearing like different sort of colors in my little filming setup. So I typically end up wearing black. So it's always good to have like a few more black items basically. If I move everything here, look how much space there is. 
kind of crazy popped into my storage box and i have a few items to add so first up this is a like pinafore style dress from marge i'm going to add it into here i think just so that i can save on space i always double up on my hangers i always have multiple items on hangers and i also don't have fancy hangers i just literally use like shop hangers no issue for me um but that's that and then here are you're gonna see a lot of party season pieces here because this to me is party season already so i have another sort of like cropped jacket i'd say this one was sister jane last year oh it is stunning so that's going to come in here then oh my gosh all three of these pieces are actually from sister jane how cool so sister jane clearly a very big part of my party season wardrobe love this shirt it's just really like quite subtle but still very beautiful for party season so i will add this where i'll add this in here i think Ugh, so that will live here and then i have this which actually has a matching blazer i do also have the blazer but i keep my blazers in and like somewhere else so they're not in this particular wardrobe um i don't know whether i should maybe either put the blazer in here or add this to where the blazer is or if they're like fine separate i suppose you don't have to wear them together um but i just don't want to like forget about it which i know sounds really silly but sometimes i like miss don't keep pieces together and i'll just like forget that they're a piece but i think if i have this here it will sort of remind me of my blazer and then you guys aren't ready for this hello sequins oh my gosh i'm kind of shocked at just how many sequin pieces i have but oh this makes me a different kind of happy so lots to put back into my wardrobe first up this sequin dress which you may have seen time and time again I definitely style this every single party season and I'm pretty sure that this year will be no exception. So this is, that's not where it belongs. This is going to come right in here with its pride of place. These are kind of very similar. This is a mini dress and then this is a midi dress. Basically, this was a print I really loved last year from Miss uh, Oh Girls on Film and it's just, it's beautiful. I really, I do think I'm going to keep them both, which I need to move this hat out of here because I have a hook here which comes in handy as i was saying i do really love them both i do think that this mini suits me a little bit better but i love them both so i'm going to keep them both so i'm popping this into the mini section side and this one can go into my midi dress side perfect then this is an item I'm, I'm unsure about this is from monsoon it's beautiful quality it's like a beautiful like velvet dark autumnal and winter colors but i've had this for a long time and i really really have not worn it in like a very long time so i am actually unsure about this one i don't know whether it's maybe time to move on with it maybe try and sell it it's beautiful and like the quality oh, everything is beautiful but I'm just unsure then i have this another sequin sort of jumper dress number it's not really sequin actually this one's more like sparkles but still very lovely for the party season it's more of a like classic jumper dress which i love to wear this oh uh, what a beautiful piece pink hearts this is actually beautiful for like it always makes me think of valentine's day just because it's pink and it's got hearts but very pretty for party season so popping that in here what a joy to see my wardrobe filled with sequins like it makes me so happy another beautiful sequin dress this one is from forever new i got it last year absolutely stunning this can pop in here and then finally this hands down my absolute favorite piece in probably my whole wardrobe this is and other stories so 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 long ago but my gosh i don't see myself ever getting rid of this i just absolutely adore it i've popped it on its own hanger so that's oh but i don't really want to put it next to this skirt because i kind of feel like this one is starting to fray a little bit and i'm worried if it's because of this so i'm gonna pop it there look at that like oh what a beauty and i think finally for this hanging section i just have a few more jumper dresses to add to my collection so a white cable knit from river island this is a black jumper and then like slip skirt duo so like it's attached also river island this is a this is my favorite this is a gray high neck also river oh all of these are river island and then this one is also river island so there we go an ode to river island jumper dresses clearly i love them 
And this one, I'm still not sure about it. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. I then also got some new in items, which I usually keep in a little rail separately, just because usually it means I want to like film with them or create content, so I don't pop them in here straight away. But both of these I have already like worn and styled. This one is a new look dress, and then this one is an H&M mini dress. So both still in that sort of jumper dress style which clearly I have quite a lot of. I'm not sure if I'll need any more of those this year because I have quite a lot of them, but I do really, really like them. This one's a jumper dress, but it's a short jumper dress, so I'm kind of unsure as to where to put it. I feel like it should live with the jumper dresses, but because it's short, I am going to pop it in on this side instead. Then, on the trouser front, I have found a few newbies that I want to add into the mix, so... Actually, first up, this is an older pair. This is, uh, mm, I don't know. They're from like, I don't know, maybe like Pretty Little Thing or something like that. I've had them for years and years and years. But I am going to keep those. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over these chocolate brown ones, which are from River Island. I'm going to move them onto here. And so that I can then do some moving with my faux leather hanger. I'm calling this the faux leather hanger because I have a new pair of faux leather leggings to add in here. These are new look and they are fab. And then I also have these trousers from River Island which are also new but they don't actually fit quite well so I'm gonna have to see what I do about those because sizing wise not quite right for me but I am just gonna pop these in here instead and then that way it basically means, actually I shouldn't put them next to the red because the colour, the colour might fade a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll pop the red to the top and then, oops, that wasn't intentional. Might pop the red at the top. Why is this thing so complicated? So now it's something more like this. I know I have two cream colours but I think I'm going to get rid of these because they unfortunately lost a bit of their colour. Well they didn't lose their colour but they stained with blue denim because I used to keep them stored with my jeans which was a big mistake and um, then the colour kind of transferred so I feel like I have the new ones now I can probably get rid of the others here I do only have two pairs of trousers for now but I'm sure that will eventually fill up as well so yeah there we go my three little hangers with my trousers and I'm pretty sure that that is this hanging section done for now much better. So I'm quite happy with how this has ended up looking. I've got all of my jumper dresses here, um, a few short sleeves that I kept, a few like uh, strappy numbers that I kept, going into shorter dresses, sequins, trousers, skirts and shirts here at the end. So this is pretty much I think how this will stay for now. I don't really know if there's anything else I'm missing but from my box I'm pretty sure everything is out. Now down here if you've watched my videos you'll know that I keep a lot of my bags. That is such a random bag then. It looks so messy it's so annoying but it's got like swimwear and miscellaneous stuff like that which typically I would keep away but I always keep this out like just in case I go somewhere so I just need to like organize that a little bit and then here gosh this is a right mess but here is where I keep all of my bags and things and there are a few bags I'm going to be putting away like my basket bags so basically a lot of these sort of summery kind of bags that I wore throughout summer but I'm obviously not going to be wearing until next spring so these are all going to go away into storage and I'm just going to have to make this a little tidier as well but I think I will do that off camera because it's just a little bit boring really and if you were wondering as well because I did say I don't use a chest of drawers this is what I use kind of like drawers so for example here I have like socks and things like that and I just like pull them out as if they were drawers here I have underwear and then here I have my pajamas which you can see a lot of newbies um I got such an amazing order from Chelsea Piers so many beautiful pajamas in there but yeah so that's kind of like what I use as uh, drawers and then oh my gosh this looks so messy I need to tidy it which now leads us on to the shelving side so this is how it's looking now we've got another stray basket bag here which is going to go 
This is the bit that is probably going to take the longest because naturally there is much more knitwear to put in here, t-shirts to go out and so on. So this is for autumn and winter anyway. This section is always the bigger task. Before I get started, this is section two. So my shelving, as you can see, I have a basket bag here, which will also be going into storage. But so far up here, I have knitwear. As you can see, a fair amount of knitwear as well, which is why I've been actually like okay, because I have some knitwear pieces out. Then my second shelf has t-shirts at the back. These are like cami style tops, long sleeve tops, which I've moved forwards because it's a little bit colder now. And then some other tops there. We go into the denim section, which I think I'm going to have to have a bit of a sort through actually, because there is a lot in there. Then I have, uh, it's meant to be shorts and skirts, but there's a jumper there, there's like a bit of a mix, so this is going to need a sort through. And then at the very bottom, we have loungewear, which over the years has just grown and grown and grown. So yeah, we're going to have to see how I get on. There's a real mix in here. I have just a lot going on. So I mean, first things first, basket bag is going to go. I am actually tempted to start from the bottom up, which is unusual because I usually almost always start with knitwear, but I feel like I need to put stuff away before I start bringing stuff in because there just isn't enough space to have both here. So I think I'll start with skirts. Okay, here we are. I'm really sorry if the filming isn't like ideal. My light is all the way up there, so I feel like I look a bit shadowy. So here I have my skirts and things and I'm gonna take everything out and go from there. Faux leather skirts I am going to keep. I have some denim shorts out, which are gonna go into storage. I have faux leather shorts, which I'm going to keep out because they are quite nice for the transitional season. And as the weather is still quite mild, they will be quite nice. So shorts on this side. Then I have these from Zara. They're my Zara high-waisted shorts. Oh no, this isn't my Zara high-waisted shorts. This is actually a Zara skirt. Um, a skirt with a slit. This is so short for me, but I, mm, I'll hold on to it. And if I style it and wear it and stuff, I'll keep it. If not, I won't. These are a pair of white shorts. Gosh, I love these shorts. I think I will actually keep these out. Then classic, just black style shorts, like nothing fancy, so these can stay. Then I have these faux leather with this like gold buckle. The gold buckle isn't my favorite, but a pair of like black faux leather shorts is always good to have. These are my Zara shorts, which I didn't put away properly. That's very annoying. Um, but these are my Zara high-waisted shorts. In previous years, I've put them away, but I actually like these for autumn as well, so I am going to keep them out. Another pair of shorts. They can go. Uh, this is a very, very pretty midi skirt, like floral. I don't see myself wearing this other than in spring and summer, so that can go. Same goes for this blue one. This is a gorgeous one from Marj. So pretty. It's definitely like a bit more spring, but it's like a knitted material, so I am going to keep that out because it will be nice for like lighter colour palettes. Then I have this denim black skirt with a slit, which I will keep because it's quite a nice little classic to have. Oh, this is a faux leather mini skirt. Can't see these very well, but I'll keep that as well. This is very beautiful. This is from Bowdoin, um, and it's just a, a midi skirt. I've not worn that in ages though, but that's going to go into storage. This is a very nice slip style skirt, a mini version i'll keep that as well honestly i bought that and thought i would wear it so much but surprisingly i haven't this is a black mini skirt with slips so keeping that as well they're always like great to have oh i'm so excited about this skirt this is a satin style skirt which will be perfect for party season so very excited to have that this is a denim skirt i'm going to pop that away for springtime this is a green skirt with a slit, which is cute, but I don't wear it that much, but I'm gonna keep it, see if I style it, and maybe if I don't style it, it can go. Um, navy, this is nice, navy midi skirt, but again, um, because it's navy, I might actually just hold on to it, like why not? It's navy, so it's darker color, so it could be quite nice, so I will hold on to that. Then I've also got this like animal print one, also a midi, I guess I'll hold on to that as well. I don't know if I should maybe hang up these midi skirts, but to be fair, I think it's fine. And then I have this like dark floral print one, which is very cute, but I think I'm gonna put this one away for springtime. I have my Scort from Storettes. This is that black one, which I love. So that can stay in here. Another pair of denim shorts storage, and then two pairs of more like 
knitted style shorts which I will keep out that's pretty much how that's looking and then this is a like play suit but I'm gonna put that into storage and then I have some white plissé trousers gosh uh, but storage as well because I'm not really gonna wear white now I just have lots of like trousers that are good for summer and not really for now so all of these are going to go into storage i kind of risk looking like a floating head right now but this, this is what we can do oh with the space um i'm gonna go through denim i have not gone through my denim oh gosh in the longest time but i really really feel like i need to because i've kind of just been accumulating so here's my dilemma right now this is my current denim shelf which is great it's a perfect size i don't want to increase it but as you can see, there is a lot of space here where all my skirts go. And now my two options are to either move everything from up here down so that I have more space for my knitwear at the top. Or do I move the skirt shelf up so that I have more space for loungewear? The thing is, I kind of feel like more space for loungewear is kind of a bit like just like wasted space almost like I don't want to accumulate that much loungewear basically and I think increasing this will tempt me to add more into my loungewear collection which I absolutely don't need and like knitwear is currently full already and I have other knitwear from my storage which needs to come in here so realistically I think everything is going to move down on to denim first up I have a pair of black dungarees which honestly I don't wear but they're the only dungarees I have, so I am gonna hold on to them. Then I have a lot of black jeans that I just need to get rid of. These are from Topshop. These were the uh, straights. They just say straight, I don't know why I struggled so much. But like, they have washed so terribly and I just don't wear them because they're washed like really not nice. So they're gonna go. These are also, oh no, these are ASOS design. Ah, these are my most recent. These are like classic Farley jeans. I love ASOS Farley jeans. So I'm going to keep these. And then this is another pair. These are ASOS design. I think these are also Farley jeans actually. But again, they've just not washed well. And I like hate the way they look. So I really don't wear them. So they can go. Then Levi, these are the 501s. And obviously I'm gonna keep them. They're like newer in my collection. I know they're a really light wash which kind of makes me think that they're more of like a spring a spring option but it is what it is then i have these wide leg trousers these are top shop i'm gonna keep these style them up recently actually and i think they are fab also the only pair of wide leg trousers that i own oh my gosh i love these these are old top shop they were called awesome style and i just loved them i think they're such a nice fit and feel so i am keeping those these are my white jeans from stradivarius which i got this summer honestly i thought i would wear them so much in the summer and admittedly i barely wore them which is quite shocking actually but i'm gonna keep them because they're the only white jeans i own saying that i also have these these are the top shop mum jeans but these have always been too small for me and the reason i was on the hunt for a new pair was because these were too small so they can finally go. These are black jeans from Paige. These are the best black jeans ever, ever, ever. I have had these for years. They have been washed multiple times and they are still as black as when I first bought them. So I really think like when it comes to black jeans, it's probably worth investing a little bit more because like the Topshop and the ASOS that I had from over the years, like once they've been washed a few times, they lose their color. And these ones washed in the exact same way are in such good condition. These are, I believe, like Topshop Jamie jeans, just like the classic skinny jeans. They're always really good to have around winter time because they look great, like, tucked into different outfits and things. So I'm going to keep these. Oh, they're a bit, there we go. Right, keeping those. Then I have Levi Mile High. So these are also skinny jeans. Also another pair that I absolutely adore. Great quality as well as expected from Levi. I really like those as skinny jeans. These are from Lee. These are like almost a bit of a like straight leg but they kind of end up as a bit of a kick flare on me they're also quite short but they are the only pair of lee jeans that i think i own so i'm gonna hold on to those just so that i have like different brands and things it's nice to to just have different ones i suppose these are okay now i think we're just going into a ton of asos Farley jeans because i love them so this is pair number one which is quite like a true a really like true dyed blue so these are staying then i have my classic 
ones that I just adore. These are the... They're from the Hourglass range. So they're still the Farley jeans, but they're from the Hourglass range. And oh my gosh, I love them so much. Like the fit is exceptional. I actually have two pairs of those. And it's actually not good to have multiple pairs of the same thing, like in my opinion. I just think, oh, you don't need two of the same thing. But for these jeans, I don't know, I just love them so much. And like when one was in the wash, I used to really miss them. So I ended up with two pairs. Um, these are Topshop Jamie jeans as well. They're more of like a, a dark denim look. These ones are very tight though. I don't know if it's because of like the dye. I always find that different washes fit differently. I think it's to do with like how they're dyed and stuff. But yeah, those are very tight, but I am gonna keep them, like hold on to them because they are quite nice. These are another pair of page jeans. Honestly, I cannot see myself ever getting rid of the page jeans that I own because the quality of them is just so good. Like even if they're slightly more outdated styles, like the styles that I have are, they're just so good. These are my OG Farley jeans. So these are the ones that I've had for the longest time, but they're in great condition still. So I'm gonna keep those. Then my Levi rib cage. These are my most recent pair of jeans my absolute favorite i love them i really think that the rib cage is just excellent these are mango these are wide leg look how wide these are oh my gosh they're really old as well but because like style and fashion keeps coming around i kind of feel like well why shouldn't i keep them on to tops next so these are all my short sleeve tops which i kind of feel like i should just literally as is put them into my storage basket but there are some pieces here that I do think I'll still wear. Like this one, for example, is a knitted one. And then like all my racer back tops, even as like a layering piece, I actually think are quite good to have. So again, I'm tempted to keep out those. And I think the only things I'm really gonna put away into storage are the ones that like, I don't really, oh, the thing is like, I feel like everything here, I am so likely to just still, grab and wear because they are just essentially like basic layering pieces there's also a sequin top in here and we know how much i love my sequins for winter autumn and winter and like party season i think i'm gonna put away these oh these tops which are sort of like more basics that i'm not necessarily reaching for as much but i am gonna keep all of these which may seem a little bit excessive potentially but I don't know, I'm just really liking them now. And like I said, the weather has still been like just so mild. And I actually think I'm going to store away most of the t-shirts, funnily enough. I'm going to keep out, of course, my basics. So I have two white ones that I really love. And then this black one is an oldie. It's honestly like on its last legs, but I will still keep that one. I kind of feel like maybe this is enough in terms of t-shirts. Two black, two white, and then one nude color like the rest of these i might actually keep this gray one as well and then these can sort of live with my long sleeve long sleeve with my short sleeve tops potentially and these can all move over here to the back which i think works quite well so yeah we'll keep with that as i said these are my long sleeve tops so my basic this is the white version of the one i'm wearing so these are the saint and sophia basic tops then I have like my square neck tops, which I love both in black and white as well. So only four here, but I will add to this because there is definitely more. And then here I have just like, well, slightly nicer tops like this one, which is actually long sleeve. So that will stay. This one isn't, but I am tempted to keep that one out as well. And this one, but then I have some more like lighter colors, like this pink one can go into storage, this floral one as well. And like all of these are more kind of, this is long sleeved actually, um, but the rest of these are all a bit more spring, so they can go into storage. Which means we've not done too bad, so I'm just going to refold these. It's so annoying I unfolded them to then just have to refold them again. But anyway, you live and you learn. I may also even move some of the thinner knits from up here. This one I'm actually going to, this is a bodysuit, really beautiful bodysuit, it's from Abercrombie. Um, and it's just stunning. It's a gorgeous green colour, but this can go down here to like live with my nice tops within my nice tops collection. This is also another thin knit actually. It's more of like just a thin long sleeve top, so this can come down here as well. I think what I'm going to do now is just get knitwear from the storage. We'll start small with what are essentially just long sleeve tops and like um, roll neck tops. 
this is a thermal from MS. I got it last year, but I really love it. I actually wore it a lot as like a basic, like a base layer, kind of like this one. So I am going to pop it in here. I do have thermals somewhere. I actually think I forgot to remove them when I did my spring summer switch over. So they've just lived in my wardrobe, I think with my loungewear, like towards the back. So that's good. That's one less job for me to do. And then these are all my Rolex. So I'm going to keep all of them. I don't really go for anything like too particularly colourful or anything like that. They really are just like neutral colours. This is a cashmere one, which is nice and soft. This is another cashmere one. I think I've only got two cashmeres. Um, but they're my cashmere ones. And then the rest of them are majority from New Look. I really like the ribbed roll neck tops that New Look do. They typically come out with them every single season. And I just really love them. So that is my roll neck collection. So let's do knitwear. I'm going to move this shelf down. I'm going to try and do it without removing anything on top, which could be a bad idea, but kind of easier than to try and remove everything first. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Moved down. And that then means everything below is definitely more tight and more compact, but it's a little bit of room there. And it means we can tackle knitwear. These are some of my older knitwear pieces. I think I have like four piles of knitwear <laughs> to go through um, and to potentially like fit into my wardrobe, into this tiny section. So we'll see how I get on. This one is Under Other Stories. I love it. I actually really missed this one. Um, even like spring and summer, like I was like, oh, I wish I had, I wish I had that jumper. So yeah, definitely missed it. I've got this one from H&M, which is a very nice like chunky knit. The thing with this one though, is that it just is so chunky that it's kind of a hard one to wear with knitwear, I mean with the outerwear. So maybe it's a good one for this time of year where it's actually quite warm. So that could work. This is, okay, I'm not sure about this one. This one is like got little pearl detailing. It's from Primark. I'm unsure. This is and other stories checked. Definitely keeping. I love this. I remember buying this in like January sales, I think. And I've been so happy with that. This is another and other stories knit. I actually really, really like and other stories knitwear. And I think you'll definitely notice that like a lot of my knitwear is from and other stories. Oh, I really like this one. This was from Revolve. And it's just it's just different. Like it's still black and white. So I still think very easy to like wear and style. But it's just a little bit different with the polka dots, I suppose. Then I have some really big cable knits. And these are the ones that are the hardest to store because they're just so big. Um, but this is a black one, which I really like from Mango. And this is a navy one, which is actually a more long line one. And I don't really have long line knitwear. So I think that makes it quite a nice one. But it's just so big. I mean, that's kind of filled up. So... I don't know what we're going to do, but this is another and other stories jumper. I really, really like this one. It's got like varsity feel to it. It's an alpaca blend though, so it's a little bit itchy. So usually when I wear that one, I have like a jumper like I've got on now underneath. This is a weekday jumper, one of my favourites. Very happy to be reunited with this one. And then this is more of a like fair isle type jumper. So almost like a Christmas jumper, but or like a winter jumper, I'd say. Like the Fair Isle design, I think is very Christmas or like very Alps, like that kind of vibe, which is cute. Honestly, I think this calls for some culling. I'm going to have to get rid of things because the rest of my knitwear just doesn't fit. Looking through this cardigan, I love this cardigan, but it has most definitely seen better days. It could maybe be demoted to loungewear. This green um, cardigan, is another one that I'm like, mm, maybe, it's like just a maybe. It's a green cardigan, it's from phase eight, like it's beautiful. This would definitely be an item that I would sell on, but it's just maybe not necessarily my autumn style, if that makes sense. Like I'm very much into my neutrals and that kind of thing. So for an idea, this, oh gosh, this is the knitwear that I have left. Clearly, it's not going to fit, so something's got to go okay maybe i'll go through these pieces to see what i want to keep so i do think this is a mock neck sweater from and other stories i love these i have them in so many different colors this one is probably my least favorite color though admittedly i have this then from miss selfridge which i kind of think is a nicer shade of green and for that reason i'm more likely to wear this one 
Oh, but I'm just thinking, I'm like, do I get rid of the and other stories one? Maybe I'll sell that one, keep this one instead. I kind of feel like in terms of green knitwear, I don't need to have two green knits, basically. I have this fluffy knit, which I always think is a really nice one for Christmas time and stuff, even for like the festive season, I think it's really cute. Oh my gosh, my jumper is gonna get so fluffy. I've got this from River Island, which is kind of just like a basic V-neck. This still has a tag on. Um, so if I didn't wear it last year, I might not wear it this year, so maybe that can go. This is more of a grey, like, cable knit style jumper. I'm not sure about this. I need to try that on and see. This is a cropped brown one from New Look. I got it last year. I've not worn it, like, enough yet, but I do like that one. This is a French Connection one, which I adore. I got this one year for Christmas, and it's still... One of my absolute favourites, look how badly, okay, I'm going to have to fold that properly. This is a Forever New Cashmere Knit, and I'm thinking, because this is a lightweight one, as is this one, this one's a Uniqlo one though, I don't wear this one a lot, I think that one I can either donate or sell or something like that, like, don't think any of these items are going to go into, like, the rubbish, by the way, like, none of these are going to go into the bin by any means, they're all in excellent condition, so they'll either go to charity, to friends, or to be sold, maybe, let me know where you buy your secondhand pieces from, mostly charity shops, or is it, like, eBay, Vinted, Depop, like, let me know in the comments, um, but this one I am going to keep, this is the cashmere one from Forever New, I'm tempted to put them down here with the roll necks, I have this one from New Look as well, um, it's not really my kind of thing, so I think that can go. This is an Amazon Find Cashmere top as well. So I'm going to keep that. This one is Urban Revivo, and I actually have the matching skirt to this. But to be honest with you, I think I'm going to declutter the co -ord. It's just not really my kind of thing. And other stories from Wachneck. Sweater in white, definitely keeping. <laughs> Almost fell. And then finally, this grey one from New Look, which I'm also going to keep. So... From that collection, we did do a good cut down to be fair, but I do still have a fair amount of knits that I want to add into here, so I have some thinking to do. Do you know what though? This yellow one, I keep it every single year because I'm like, oh, it's nice, it's different, but like maybe the fact it is nice and different is the reason I don't actually wear it. So maybe I could declutter this one. Let me see if I can maybe like. Mm. I don't think I'll be able to squeeze in all of them, but let's see how many more I can squeeze into here. Finished! So, I think this is pretty much wardrobe switchover complete. We've done a little bit of decluttering and a little bit of reorganising as well, but I'm really quite happy with it. So, let me give you a final run through. So, let's start off with the shelving and, of course, my knitwear collection. That gave me so much grief. But here we are, this is what I've ended up with. It's all right, I mean, it's not ideal. I do think I have to do a little bit of decluttering. This is it in full, so there's quite a lot there. So maybe I still do need to do a bit more decluttering, but we'll see. Down here, I've ended up with tops on this side, long sleeve tops. This side, I have my roll neck tops, and then at the back, which I know you can't see very well, but back here, I've got t-shirts and those sleeveless tops and then back in this corner I've got those like slightly nicer tops which are fairly easy to me to reach like all I have to do is move this over and it moves quite easily so that's all right and um, also I've got this little space in the middle which is kind of great then moving down onto the denim this has actually done so good like a real good curl here I feel like I really needed to go through my denim actually so now that that's done I'm very pleased with it then following on below I have my skirts on this side and shorts on that side a nice autumnal collection a nice autumnal selection which is great and then at the bottom I also did a slight rejig of my loungewear as well I was going to film it but then I ended up not filming it but essentially there is a lot packed in here so back there which you can't see I've got some robes on that side and then my thermals are tucked away back there here I have leggings and like gym kits as well and then on this side is where I've kept most of my loungewear so like these sort of sweatshirts some joggers sets this one oh my gosh I love it and then just some other jumpers and things so that's pretty much how this side is looking for the main section this is how we are looking so much less colorful and much less bright compared to the start of this video 
But essentially, I've ended up with all my knitted dresses on this side, so all those long jumper dresses, and a couple of others that I decided to keep out as well. And then you can see the sequins popping through as well, ready for party season, and then my shirts and blouses on the other end. So really, like, works for me, it's how I like to keep it, and I think it's worked quite well. I don't think I spoke through the doors, but I have two spare hangers up here, which I might use for scarves and things. And then here is where I keep my belts. So I just have some black belts and then some coloured ones as well. And then on the other door, I have just a straw hat, which I am going to keep out despite not wearing it throughout autumn and winter. But it will just get ruined in my storage basket and it doesn't take up any space there. I also came down here as well and did a little bit of fixing up compared to how it was previously. So I've tucked away that little bag, it's just hiding there. And then this is what I'm left with on the bag front. As I mentioned, I put away all of my straw basket bags. So they've all gone into storage and this is what I'm left with. A definitely smaller collection, a definitely smaller selection of bags, but just my autumn winter pieces, which is great. And then obviously at the bottom, I didn't change any of that. Those are still my little fake drawers, but that's how this side is looking post switchover. That is my wardrobe clear out and switchover complete ready for autumn and winter. Now we need some autumn and winter weather because it's still quite mild outside but I'm very happy to have done this switchover. I also feel like newly inspired with the items that I've brought into my wardrobe through from storage. It's always really good to like shop your wardrobe and see the items that you already own before you like shop and purchase more. It's just a little tip you know sometimes you forget what you own or sometimes you just you know you stop looking at things and stop looking for them that you just forget you had like that striped jumper or I don't know that sequin skirt like things like that so it's always really good to just have a little rummage and look through and just a general sort out when the seasons change so that's why I really enjoy putting together these videos and filming them for you as well hopefully it encourages you to do the same with your wardrobe but we are done for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I will see you all soon. Bye!